unknown and nice plugins shouldn't be unknown and nice. Wait, what? I mean, unknown and nice plugins shouldn't stay unknown, so I came up with a solution. This video, where I can hopefully give more exposure to these nice and free Blender 2.8 plugins that everyone should know about. Let's start. Easy HDRI, although 10th on my list, it's a very powerful and must-have plugin. With the new favorites icon, you can easily add as many folders as you like, and it will remember them all and make it easy to select HDRIs from your collection. It's also very elegant to select HDRIs with this because it shows little preview thumbnails of your collection, which is super fun and most importantly super useful. With this, it's very easy to rotate and set up HDRIs. With its custom node setup, it's uh, possible to simply turn off the sound completely or adjust the HDRI sound strength, which is sadly sometimes required for free HDRIs, so this makes it all possible with just some click. Or if you want to create more ambient lighting, there's no one stopping you anymore to add more strength to your sky while letting the sound strength uh, stay on default values. GR Quiz I have no idea if I pronounced this right, but it is a very good free alternative for Archipact that sadly became paid for 2.8, at least the non-broken updated version. GARC has some basic ARCQUIZ modeling tools, for example, you can create pretty good rooftops with it. You will think it's not as intuitive as some paid options, but it's surprisingly easy to set up a rooftop with this. It also has window generation options, which auto can't compete with my ultra window collection, link will be in the description, in detail and photorealism, and it doesn't have arc with ready glass materials and handles like mine does. It is still a good starting point for beginners who want to learn making arc with scenes or games where photorealism is not needed. It is also parametric so you can change the size and fit it wherever you like without destroying the mesh. The siding tab is very interesting as it helps to speed up making exterior scenes with different kind of houses. The flooring tab keeps different options for creating photorealistic 3D floors and of course it's also parametric so you can set the thickness and the gap and other properties. With a lot of presets included like tiles, wooden floor and other presets, it can save a lot of time when you are creating a house or something human made where you need the floor or something. Pro tip, why not use the tiles preset for interior wall design? As you can see, with a little creativity you can easily expand the capabilities of this plugin. My favorite function of this plugin is still the roofing uh, function, seriously just download it for that alone, it's worth it. You will spend hours modeling a realistic rooftop without it and trust me, textures won't cut it. Bye Jan! Very good plugin to have, you can create abstract art easily with this one. There are a lot of presets and different styles. While you still have a creative control, this plugin makes it easy to create something cool looking in some clicks. It's pretty good for what it is and there are tons of presets available. This plugin uses the default Blender modifiers, so when you are delighted with the style you can jump right into the familiar modifier stack and do further adjustments. Even by turning on or off some settings, the mesh can change completely. With this there's nothing stopping you from creating nice looking random abstract art and this plugin is very inspiring even if you just keep clicking on everything like there's no tomorrow. Random mesh. Just like by Jen, this add on helps to destroy a mesh and make something better out of it. Although there aren't many options alongside by Jen, this will be a good tool for abstract artists for creating interesting objects for their scenes. Denoise Denoiser. This plugin has an AI which helps you with denoising. Although this sounds futuristic and extreme, it's actually a free plugin that uses NVIDIA's technology to enhance your noisy image with extremely low samples. I'm using 10 samples to render this scene and the denoiser can make it. Even if not completely noise free, it makes it pretty good actually. On about 60 to 120 samples, it's having a better time figuring out how to correct your grainy picture which can save a lot of time. Sadly, it has some artifacts usually and can be used for animations because of these artifacts. 
Also, it doesn't really work on Windows 7. You have to set the exe file for the plugin to run as administrator by default. And even then you have to wait for this pop-up window to come, which sometimes doesn't show up. In this case you are left with a not the noise picture that isn't too nice of this plugin. So it's only working properly on Windows 10 sadly, at least that's the info I could get from deep diving into Forgotten and Ray Blender for you bros. Rock Generator Although this is part of Blender 2.8, not many people know this. It's hard to find it as you have to go into the preferences, click on testing tab to find this add-on. Maybe in the future this will be taken out of testing, but for now you have to enable it from there. This helps you generate rocks in only some seconds. It's possible to change the size in different directions, set up the smoothness of the rock. It's equipped with a lot of other options and some presets. For some reason there's a fake photo preset which I found quite interesting. There's a lot of things you can generate with this and if you find the mesh a bit weird just put a subdivision surface modifier on it and you are done. If you want uh, to texture the rocks just apply uh, all the modifiers and it will be very easy. This helps with creating environments for games or big scenes. For forests and the arc -wiz, you can still find use of these as rocks are everywhere. They will take over the world one day. M3. This add-on can help you with creating modular trees as the name suggests. Because M3 is short for modular tree. This is a great add-on as it is node based and it's practically able to pump out hundreds of trees with some clicks as if it was some kind of tree factory. With its random generation options and leaf presets, there's no reason why you couldn't start a tree business with this add-on as uh, it will create a forest for you in no time. Of course, with artistic control and some basic knowledge needed to set up the nodes. The problem with the tree business idea though is that it creates very high poly trees which you probably can't use in most games of 2019. Maybe you have to wait until 2025 when games can support 40 million polygons just for your trees. Until then it's mainly good for photorealistic tree creation and arc with scenes where you don't need many trees. Still, with further development, this add-on can expand beyond its current capabilities. Its uh, 2.79 uh, version has animations, while this version sadly doesn't support animations yet, although it supports one-click rigging. Fast Carve a very powerful add-on which helps with hard surface modeling. I personally don't do hard surface modeling, there are still times when it comes in handy as it revolutionizes whole boolean's work in Blender as it makes it very simple and quick to do boolean operations. Not just that, but it has a ton of other options. For example, the circular array is a very needed function that Blender 2.8 doesn't have by default, at least it takes a lot of time to do it, and this creates it in a single click. Combining with the fast mirror options, you can create very interesting arrays which uh, could be cool even for motion graphics and creative animations. Notice that it mirrors everything with the boolean objects too and no modifiers are being applied to the mesh which means you can edit everything afterwards which helps greatly with a non-destructive workflow. I find it pretty amazing. Of course I destroyed this scene beyond repair but I still had fun doing so and that's what counts as people always say. HDRI Sun Aligner Along with the easy HDRI plugin, this is a great addition to your blender if you want extra control for the sun. This add-on calculates the sun position on any HDRI even if it is set up with HC HDRI special node tree which means you can turn off the original sun with the HDRI while still having a fake lamp. This is especially good for free HDRIs which sometimes have either unrealistically sharp uh, shadows which makes you at the 4 level subdivision modifier on every single object to avoid blocky shading or have uh, too strong default sun values which create uh, unrealistically bright scenes. Because you can manually set up the fake sounds well used, the shadows can be adjusted and be softer and the HDRI strength and color is easily fixed or changed for whatever lighting you are looking for. Anytime you rotate the HDRI you can recalculate the sound position and it's done. Simple Asset Manager 
This little plugin helps you build your library easily. I mean, it's not going to model uh, instead of you, it's still your job to model or download models from the net, but this turns Blender into, well, uh, something else. It follows your folder tree, your folder setup and everything. And if you rename the folders, it automatically updates. This plugin is your own asset manager ready to help you every time. It's very easy to load in any model, and it works with HDRIs and particle systems too, although I haven't used those functions yet. But the most useful function is the ability to create 3D thumbnails for all your models by simply pressing a button. This places the Saturn on the top for me, uh, because I am doing 50% of the time arc with, it's saving me hours. Instead of appending or placing every object one by one, it's a lot easier to just scroll through here and select any model I would like. Sadly, the place at 3D cursor function wasn't working for me, which is probably because I haven't updated my Blender version for a while, but if it's working for you, then that's practically the best thing I've ever seen. Also, this preserves the collection hierarchy, so if you use this to copy big scenes, it's a lot simpler than to enable all collections and copy between blenders. When I had a really broken scene, this saved my life by moving massive amount of collections into a new blender file. Hope you liked the video. If you subscribe, don't forget to click on the notification bell to see more videos like this in the future. Also, I'm making tutorials, speed modeling videos, and random blender animations that I come up with. If you want to support me, check out my CG Trader, where I have free models available to download, but there are a lot of paid models, so if you want to donate for my videos and tutorials, buy some. In the future, I might of course launch a Patreon if I myself have more subscribers, so you will be able to buy a coffee for me there too if you want. Until the next video, see you guys!